Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we're doing the weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the cards called the Druid Plant Oracle. And those cards are by Philip and Stephanie Cargom. And I quite like these card makers. I like the, the decks that they do. And I'm particularly looking forward to using this deck on this on this channel. I haven't uh, used this deck this deck here previously. So let's go ahead and uh, make a selection between one, two and three. Uh, so you just, you know, choose of the number that uh, that you feel like choosing, that vibrates with you, that you feel drawn to. And you can go down to the timestamp below, either in the comment section or in the description box, and uh, you can go directly to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and start the reading with option number one. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? What is our weekly oracle card guidance? And I know I have a really tight shot today. I just don't have a lot of space where I'm working <laughs> at this moment. And because uh, of other projects that are underway that are taking up space. And so I just have a little space to shoot this in. So we're asking, well, what is the oracle guidance? And I think it's this card here. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the Bramble. The Bramble is um, your Blackberry. And uh, the Bramble Vine is, or the Blackberry Vine is referred to as the Bramble. Now, I think that if you have this come up in your, um, in your reading as your weekly oracle guidance, then the guidance that is referred to here is to to stick strong, to uh, be determined, to dig your heels in, to be clear about what you want and unwavering uh, in your direction, to be stubborn about what it is that you want this week. And th that's the advice. The advice here is to be to be stubborn, regardless uh, of whether you're wanted there or not, but to stay. The advice is to stay and and be steadfast in your decision, make a decision and stick to it. And to 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 stay with it until the end, to stay with it even after the end. So if you find yourself in a situation during this week where you feel like perhaps you shouldn't be here or perhaps you're not wanted here or perhaps you don't fit in here, this card is to say that you do and that you belong there. You This is innate to you. You, you are meant to be where you are right now. And that uh, the it might be that others would find you a little bit prickly or not as smooth as you would like to be uh, to be received. But here, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what any of the others think of you. It only matters what is your path, the path that you've chosen. So if you've chosen to be somewhere during this week, you stick with it and stay with it and regardless of the vibes that you're getting from others you stay with it because this is where you're meant to be and this is where you need to be right now i feel here that uh the you know being in the situation having the bramble um come up for you it might be that as you go along in this week you find yourself a little bit bruised with life or with the situations or you might find yourself physically bruised it might be that it's a little bit rough for you uh, not necessarily that you sustain scars but or injuries but that it's a little bit hard for you it's a bit of a rough you have to be a bit rougher than your life normally is. You may need to be hiking uh, or need to be uh, in some kind of terrain that is not as comfortable as, as you used to. Or you may need to be in some kind of thorny environment or prickly environment, something that is not as comfortable as what you could be. And this this message here is saying that that's part of the course for this week. And it's okay. It's okay to be a bit to to rough to be a bit rough to up, but it's okay to go through this because there's value in that and there's at the end of it you will receive the fruit of it you will receive what is the value of it and even though it at the time it might not seem as if you are receiving value you might actually regret the decision that you made to to do this or to be on this this journey that you're currently on uh, but uh 
the cardio of this message is saying rather not just ignore that because this is where you're meant to be and it is going to get a bit rough at times it's not always going to be cozy and comfy and enjoyable it is going to be a bit rough you have what it takes and just stick with it and uh, you'll be okay and at the end of it you'll be eating the sweet fruit and uh, if you have a particular affinity to blackberries then ask yourself how does it make you feel and and note that this is how you will feel after you've gone through this week. This is the, the feeling that you will get at the end of this week as you've journeyed through what you need to go through. So it feels to me like a week ahead that is not going to be as smooth sailing as it could be. It could be a little bit rough, but at the end of the day, you'll be learning a lot. You'll be uh, understanding yourself a lot better and you'll be gaining something from this. Is, there's a lot of rewards here where this uh, has come up and that you can um, and may need protection and that it's okay to give yourself that protection. And blackberry itself or bramble itself is actually um, a great herb for or for for bringing your protection. So you, if you have some of those leaves, you can... Uh, chop it up and um, and you can use it uh, as a tincture you can make it into a tincture and you can actually use it uh, for protection as well so this is not something to just step aside or to step over or to uh, throw away and if it's in your way if there's something in your way during this week see how it can actually serve a function even though it may be an annoyance all right. So that's the message I'm going to leave you with for this week. I hope that this has been um, an enlightening uh, reading. I hope that it helps you. And let me know as the week goes by what you what you whether it's resonated or not. All right. Wishing you a fabulous week ahead and many blessings. And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we are asking what is our weekly Oracle card guidance? And I apologize that I have a very tight shot today. It's just uh, what I had available. So what is our Oracle card guidance for the week ahead? And there are a couple of cards that seem quite eager already. And I think I'm going to go with this one here. So for those of you who've chosen the second option, we have the card here called Plantain. And uh, the Plantain exists in many different varieties around the world. And um, it's quite a resilient plant. It's quite a... Um, a plant that withstands anything and it can easily transform itself so to, as to hide from um, any influence that may be damaging for it. So it may take another form. It may lay down flat into the ground. Um, it may be, it may protect itself. It finds a way to protect itself almost cunningly. And so the, the message I would say um, for this week is that as you go ahead, it's important to protect yourself and to ensure that you maintain your resilience uh, regardless of what is going on around you right now. This, car, this plant also has some uh, healing properties and some anti-inflammatory um, uh, characteristics. And so I think that if there's a chance for you to walk away from an inflamed situation, walk away from your rage, walk away from a situation that could uh, become inflammatory and choose to to uh, be um, a more soothing influence in this week, then that is what is uh, suggested to you. I also feel that here, these, these stones in the background feel like there's something that you're heading towards. There's something that's quite uh, important that you're heading towards in the following week or weeks and this energy right now the plantain it's suggesting that you just take it easy be cool be a resilient stand your ground don't let others take advantage of you but at this end and maintain your boundaries but at the same time just uh, allow yourself to be calm before the storm allow yourself to be calm before the excitement that follows I also feel here that um, the the message the the plant is talking about its abundance, about its its wealth as its in itself, and uh, this is not something that needs to be recognized by others to be valid. Um, 
the plant itself, the plantain is, is considered quite a, a common plant and yet it has very, very special properties, not just in terms of healing but uh, and medicinal properties, but also in terms of its own growth and its own characteristics. And I feel here that this is uh, sometimes overlooked by society where only a certain type of um, characteristic is valued. And so if you feel in your daily life that your contribution, however mundane it is, is not being valued, and you, if you are sad about that, if you feel dismayed about that, then don't let it get you down. Recognize that your tenacity, your resilience, your determination, your um, your strength is what helps you and, and takes you forth at this time, and that uh, it, it, you don't need to be recognized by another. You don't need to be acknowledged by another to be able to go forth in the way that you are right now. This is a plant that also springs up uh, in many different environments. It's uh, it's able to live in various different under different climates and different soils, and I feel that there's a certain resilience here as well as far as that's concerned. So, if you're considering uh, springing up somewhere else, if you're considering moving to somewhere and starting anew somewhere else, then this card is also telling you that it's okay to do that. You will be successful. You will be resilient you will be um you will manage you will be adaptable as you go ahead and make that decision it's also talking about your adaptability in various different uh, environments in terms of the climate as well as with other plants and with different soils and so it it talks about you actually being more um easygoing this week being more adaptable this week uh calming situations as opposed to um you know leading to any kind of inflammatory response and uh, just walking away from any arguments that might come up or any quarrels that may come up and focusing on your own strength and your own resilience and your own um, sense of immortality as actually it's like your soul has the sense of immortality that it's resonant with right now and it's it's about recognizing that you are always here in some form or the other and that right now is a you are in one particular form and uh, you are going to make it through in this form as well and that whatever comes up in this upcoming weeks you're going to be fine with that so I know that sounds a little bit vague but uh, I feel here that it's just it's a, the card is mainly talking about being yourself under any circumstances, being yourself, even when there are dark clouds up ahead, being yourself, regardless of the excitement that is coming up in the future, and being yourself, regardless where you find yourself. And I feel that that is the ultimate message that's here for you at this moment with the plantain. So I hope that message has helped you and is resonant with you on some level. And I wish you a blessed week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen the third option, uh, we're asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? And I apologize, I have a really tight shot today. So we're asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? I think I might just spread it out and take a card from here. So actually, this card here feels like it's the one. And we have chamomile. So I feel here with the chamomile that the week ahead is going to be quite an easy one for you. It's going to feel like springtime. It's going to be uh, lightening up. It's going to be easy. It's going to be light. It's almost like a spring in your step as well. It feels to me that this is a time to enjoy things and to zone out or focus out of whatever is turbulent, whatever is difficult, and to focus more into a space where there's less stress and there's just easiness and um, that where you can just simply smell the roses, so to say. For some, this card may represent healing or regeneration or calm and rest and how that may actually assist. It might be a time for you to go inward and just simply connect with yourself and connect with that of which you need, identifying your needs and being able to find a way to give yourself what you need. This, When you receive a card like chamomile, it's talking about resting. It's talking about taking the edge off your life, simplifying your life, making it easy for you, 
making it simple, enjoying the simple pleasures of life, sitting um, in front of a fire and um, or eating a soup or uh, simply taking a walk in, in a meadow. And it's a, it's a card which talks about being able to enjoy um, the simplicity of life without exerting yourself in any way at all. It talks about being able to actually find that abundance, find that that rest in you by going inward and by working with yourself and of it being an abundant, um, an infinite, there's an infinite amount of energy inside of you which you can tap into to be able to bring that rest and relaxation and that calm into your life that you might actually need right now. So as you go ahead in this week, focus on the calm, focus on creating the calm in your life and focus on being able to regenerate yourself, to be able to bring rejuvenation into your life and to be able to um, enjoy the simple things in life, to be able to have a spring in your step and simply smell the roses as you go along. So I'm going to leave it at there. And I hope that uh, these messages have resonated with you. And I wish you a really blessed week ahead. Please stay safe and healthy. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.